Pictures of outer space, each of them spectacular. But this one could be the most spectacular of them all. It's the first real picture of a black hole. Only made possible by the combination of several super telescopes around the world. The largest and most powerful of these the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, ALMA for short. Located in the middle of the Atacama Desert in the Chilean Andes. A total of 66 portable antennas capture images here that mankind would otherwise never be able to see. ALMA is a collaboration between Europe, North America and East Asia. They have jointly financed this approximately $1.4 billion project. Each of the 66 antennas delivers important information to the data center. Celia Verdugo is one of those responsible for reading them. She is the first port of call for all the data from the antennas. Her job is to investigate nothing less than the origin of the universe. That's why she needs every single antenna. Every antenna is essential for two main reasons. Why we have 66 antennas? To collect more light coming from the universe, meaning that we can observe very faint objects in the sky and we can collect more uh, sensitivity out of those objects. And also to obtain a better resolution on the images we are creating. With the strongest large millimeter array, Celia is constantly making new discoveries about the universe, like the first picture of a black hole. I don't know if it's humbling, but it does make, it, make me even more curious of the universe we are living in. Every new result we get, every new image, every new paper that's published raises even more questions of what is the kind of the universe we are living in? Mm -hmm. There are many secrets still to be discovered, of course. Uh, we always want to go further. We always want to break the new uh, frontiers of knowledge and technical um, availabilities we have. And that's really motivating, actually. To enable them to constantly take new pictures and obtain new research results, the scientists benefit from one thing the antennas are transportable. There are astronomers that are observing parts of the, of the sky that really need a high resolution and for that we need to move our antennas around to make the best out of our array, you see. So we, we couldn't do this without the, with the, transportes, the transporters that we have and all the engineering team that takes care of the maintenance of the antennas. These are the men for the rough stuff. But theirs is no lesser contribution to the first picture of a black hole. Alfredo and his crew. They make transporting the antenna possible. Before every transport, Alfredo undergoes a medical checkup because the job in the desert is tough. Good morning. Can I come in? The working conditions at an altitude of 5,000 meters are extreme. Therefore, a doctor examines their vital parameters each time in advance. Good. Everything fine. Is everything okay? Yes, no problem. Perfect. Thank you. If you have like a health issue, you could uh, maybe have uh, like a heart attack or uh, maybe like uh, breathing issues uh, or a stroke that could like uh, affect your brain. And when we are doing the, the maneuver of like uh, doing a relocation of the antenna, it's very important to be very aware of what's going on so you don't make any mistakes. Sunscreen and oxygen cylinders are therefore constant work companions.
the task. It's time to change the antenna from the summer to the winter configuration. This means distributing 50 of the 66 antennas in a radius of 16 kilometers in the desert. Alfredo's team has the longest and therefore hardest transport route. To be able to transport the antennas at all, heavy equipment is needed. The transport vehicles are 20 meters long, 10 meters wide and 6 meters high. Two 680 horsepower diesel engines drive the 135 ton vehicles. Despite their size, the vehicles can maneuver with pinpoint precision even with a 100-ton antenna on their backs. Everything ready? Alfredo can operate the transporter like no other. The journey can begin. For him, a dream job. Well, I like it. I think it's fun. Yeah, it took me a while to get used to it, but uh, yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really fun. It's one of the things that I actually most enjoy about this kind of work. Yeah, it's, it's nice to be here, up here in the mountains, especially because this is a very special place and it has like a energy to it. And with his work, Alfredo is also part of groundbreaking discoveries, like the image of the black hole. To create even more such images, Alfredo and his team point the antenna's mirror upwards and put the antenna itself into transport position. Then the vehicle takes up its position. The mechanics now remove eight huge screws from the antenna platform. Then they cut the power inside the antenna and only then can the transporter load up the antenna. Everything goes according to plan. After only one hour, the antenna is on the transporter. Now, Alfredo has to transport his freight eight kilometers through the Chilean desert. The hardest transport route ever. The target position is at the very edge of the area. Slowly, at only 12 kilometers per hour, Alfredo maneuvers his vehicle through the desert. The total weight of the transport is comparable to an Airbus A350. Alfredo must not rush anything, otherwise he could damage his $10 million cargo, and that would be disastrous. But for the research center two kilometers away, things just can't go fast enough. Here, the researchers hope that the new antenna position will also produce new information about the universe. One of them is Jeffrey Crewe. He was part of the team that captured the image of the black hole, the research station's greatest achievement so far. Many of us were unprepared for how, how much our, our fuzzy picture touched everyone's lives. Um, we've all grown up hearing about black holes. They play a role in movies, you know, getting sucked into the event horizon and so forth. And, you know, from a scientific perspective, um, We've done everything but see a black hole, so it really does cement this notion that there are these objects in our universe which are incomprehensible to us. They're far beyond what we see in our daily lives, and that's, that's, that's really inspirational. An incredible team effort, made up of eight satellite systems, five countries, and scientists from all over the world. The next goal, to find out more about cosmic origins, the birth of stars and the universe as a whole. Alma plays a key role in this research. 
Um, one of the nice things about coming to Alma is that it has a beautiful night sky. You can see the Milky Way galaxy uh, clearly most nights without a moon. And if you look up, you see billions of uncountable numbers of stars. And this object is in a distant galaxy of which there are uncountable trillions of galaxies. And here we are peering into the innermost heart of that galaxy to see this black hole. So yes, if you take it all in, you realize that you're a very small part of this very interesting universe, and it is quite humbling. But for the next discovery, the antenna still needs to be placed in its new position. In the meantime, Alfredo has arrived at his destination with his cargo. He and his crew now only have to anchor the bottom of the antenna again and make sure that the connection to the research station works perfectly as soon as the cables are reattached. Using a remote control unit, he adjusts the antenna until it reaches its intended location. Ten long minutes later, Alfredo brings the antenna into its final position with pinpoint accuracy. and the connection is set up. Finished? Yes, we can switch off the generator. Okay, I'll do that. We're done as soon as the cable is disconnected. Really satisfied, and this is like I think that this is my day. It's already done, almost. If I, <laughs> yeah, I take that the the transporter back to the hangar. Alfredo has done his job. The technology works. Now it's the turn of the scientists who will soon provide spectacular new images of the universe. Like the first real picture of a genuine black hole.